Should you use Bubble to build your no-code app? Let me preface this by saying that we use Bubble. We use it personally, we use it with our clients, but that does not mean you should use Bubble. For some people in apps, it's right. For some people in apps, it's not. This video is gonna help you make the decision for yourself. Now, we're not gonna get into the nitty gritty technical how you do things within Bubble. Instead, we're gonna go through and answer some of the most commonly asked questions that we get over and over and over again so you can get some quick yes or no answers. But in the description of this video, you're gonna find links for every single thing that we talk about. And in those links, you're gonna find lots more context into the more technical side of things so that if you're getting the right answers that suggest Bubble is right for you, you can dig a lot deeper. Okay, so first off, what exactly is Bubble? Well, Bubble is a platform that allows you to create web applications completely without code. Now, it's a full stack platform, and that means that every app you create on it comes with all the components that you need to build, design, and go live all from one place. So that includes a custom database, a drag and drop design canvas that's responsive to device sizes, and flexible workflows to make your app highly interactive. Now, hosting is also taken care of for you. And as you can see on Bubble's landing page here, it is, uh, in their words, the best way to build dashboards, to build SaaS applications, to build CRMs. In other words, you can build a lot on Bubble. Now we're gonna get into exactly what you can build on Bubble and some of the things you can't build a little bit later, but this should give you a really good overview of exactly what Bubble is and what it's intended for from a high level. Are apps built on Bubble scalable and well-performing? Well, the Bubble platform supports apps at all stages of development. So from mockups to startups to full enterprise level SaaS systems. Now it's important to keep in mind that you have complete control over how you build your app in Bubble. Now there might be 10 different ways to build any one specific feature or function in your app. And nine of those ways might be wrong for you and your use case. So you actually have to know how to take control over your development and build your app in a way that is scalable and well-performing. With that in mind though, Bubble also has a few built-in capabilities to support a growing app. So for example, on the free plan, you are gonna be limited in terms of your database entries, but once you're on a paid plan, that limit is going to be removed. Now with file storage, so for any uploaded files like documents, images, and videos, your app's file storage capacity is dictated also by its plan, and you have the option to add on extra storage as you need to. So can can you build a scalable, well-performing app on Bubble? Absolutely, your app can grow and scale on the platform, but remember that its scalability and performance is largely in your hands. So what kind of costs can you anticipate when you are building on Bubble? Well, you obviously are gonna have your Bubble plan. Now, there is a lot that goes into being able to anticipate the cost of your plan. And like I said, we're not getting into the nitty gritty of that on this video. So make sure you go into the description box below the video and check out the link that I'm gonna add so that you can go into the nitty gritty to figure out um, how much your particular app is going to cost. But you are obviously going to have to um, pay for your plan whenever you launch your app and move forward with your business as a whole. Now, beyond that, however, you have potential plugin costs. So if you decide to use a plugin, and this is going to be dependent on your feature set and whether you even want to use plugins, right? Because you can build most things on your own. But if you do use plugins, well, there might be an extra uh, cost for that. Now, on top of that, if you have a file heavy app, well, then you might be increasing your expenses based on your plan for that, but you also might decide to integrate with a third party file management service if you want to, okay? Now, again, this is dependent on your particular app, but that's something to keep in mind. And on top of that, of course, third party services in general. So let's say you wanted to integrate with an email marketing service or a sales pipeline service or whatever it may be. I mean, there are a blue million different options, but that's going 
going to be an additional cost. Now, this is obviously not a cost within Bubble, but we're talking about your app and just building an app as a whole. So these are things that you're going to have to factor into it. Another thing to keep in mind is if you plan on wrapping your app. So if you're building a web app on Bubble, but you want to put that into an app store, then you need to wrap your app, which uh, involves using a third party service to help you do that. Now, are Bubble apps secure? Well, just like you have a lot of control over the scalability and performance of your app, you also have a lot of control over the security of your app. Now, Bubble has its own standard level of security from the server level. So you have the security of the Bubble platform as a whole, but then on top of that, you have control over the security of your own app itself. So for example, you have control over who can access your app's editor as a whole. You also have control over what type of users can access your actual app's front end. So what pages they can see, how they can interact with the app. You also have control over the security of your database. So who can view and interact with certain data within your app and you can add restrictions, permissions as you want. Okay, so with some of the basics covered, what can you actually build on Bubble? Well, some of the common use cases that we see people using Bubble for are things like marketplace apps, um, e-commerce stores, directories with powerful search capabilities, application tracking systems for recruiting, for hiring, complete HR systems, complete ERPs, so any type of internal business tool that you could really imagine, CRMs, coaching platforms for instructors or mentors, um, personal wellness tracking or goal tracking. We see a lot of things like ride sharing, advertising management for media agencies and publishers, um, project and resource management tools, legal contract and document generators and document management platforms, social networks, recommendation platforms. I mean, you name it, you can really build most of what you can imagine on Bubble. Now, one of the reasons why you can build so much on Bubble is because beyond just the control you have over your development, you can also connect to outside services. So pretty much any third party service that offers an API, you will be able to connect with. So you can really expand your apps functionality. Now, of course you can use plugins, which will allow you to just quickly add some functionality, but you can also connect directly with services on your own using APIs. You can also connect to external databases um, and you can even add custom code to your app as well. Now, what if you want to build a native app? Well, on Bubble, you're going to be building a web application, but you can use a third party wrapping service like this one, the BDK. There are a number of them out there. This is just an example, but this is a wrapping service that can take your web application built on Bubble, turn it into a hybrid application, which is a web app with native like functionality that you can put into app stores and users can then download onto their phones. Now you can also build progressive web apps on Bubble. And again, we won't get into the nitty gritty here, but check out the link in the description down below for more information on that. Now, with all that being said, what is Bubble not good for, not right for? Who should not be using Bubble? Well, from a really high level, one of the ways you can look at this is pretty simple. Do you actually need the capabilities that Bubble is going to give you? You have complete control over how you build your app, what you build, but do you need that control? So for example, if you just need to put together a couple of surveys to send out, well, there are existing form builders that will let you do that very easily and even customize those. Do you need to put together a calendar scheduling tool just to let your clients book availability with you, but you don't need much complexity or customization? If you are building something really simple and it doesn't actually require you to create a custom web application, then you can use an existing tool out there that lets you do exactly what you want. The difference is when you actually do need that control and that customization, or when you want to start piecing those different types of apps together. Maybe you wanna be able to create those custom surveys and you want to create a custom scheduling tool on top of other functionality as well. Once you want to start getting custom, that is when a platform like Bubble really starts to shine for your needs. 
All that being said, getting a little bit more detailed here, there are some uh, limitations that Bubble has from a functionality standpoint. So I'm on their manual page here, which talks through some of those, but what you won't necessarily see on this page are specifics about things like offline apps. So you can't build an app that is going to function offline because Bubble is for building web applications, which means that you need an internet connection. Um, really, intensive gaming apps with heavy graphics and animations. Bubble is not going to be good for that. Apps with really complex calculations with very heavy algorithms that go beyond basic algebra um, on, a, on a really high volume of data, that is going to get a lot more complicated. Machine learning apps, that's not going to be really great for bubble use cases. Multimedia editors, so things where you want to annotate or edit images, audio, or videos, and you can't host your app on your own private server. Now keep in mind that Bubble uses AWS, Amazon Web Services, which powers a lot of the internet. So there is a lot of reliability there, but you can't host your app on a private server. Now you can move up to a dedicated plan like we talked about where you can have more control over that. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so if you've started to get some of those questions answered for yourself and it seems like Bubble is going to be right for you, there are two things you need to do. So first off, if you still do have some questions you're not quite sure because we haven't gone into enough depth into some of these areas, then you need to check out the links that I've put in the description box below. Like I said, those are gonna go a lot deeper and you're gonna get all the context in the answers that you need. Now from there, or if you already are feeling like Bubble is probably gonna suit your needs, then you need to head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop where you're gonna be able to dig into how to use Bubble. So how you can actually use the platform to build your unique custom apps, you can launch the thing and actually start to grow your business. So head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop to join in on that. And hey, I hope this was helpful. We'll see you in the next one.